What's up guys, it's Widgen TV here. So now that we're all well through year three in Destiny, and Destiny 2 is quickly coming around the corner, I thought it would be a good idea to show off five Easter eggs that you may have missed in Destiny. Easter eggs are one of the things that Bungie does best, and it was a ton of fun finding these Easter eggs. So I would highly suggest going and checking out these Easter eggs for yourself. They're a lot of fun to do them on your own time, and especially with friends. And before we get started, I'd really like to encourage everybody to hit the like button and consider subscribing if you like the video. It really helps out my small channel more than you guys know. All right, so let's get on with the list. Top five Easter eggs that you may have missed. First up is Cade's other stash. So to do this first one, go to the mission called Cade's Stash in the Taken King storyline. Load it up and complete it like normal, right until you get to the gravity lift that brings you up to the final boss room. Back up a little bit and turn to your left. There you'll find two vents. Shoot the vents and then continue up into the ductwork. Your ghost and Cade will have a back and forth and here it is. Hey, you found one of my secret rooms. Good times. Help yourself to the glimmer, but leave the exotics for me. When I get out of this tower, ooh, ooh. And then continue on into the next room, and then your ghost and Cade will talk again. There's nothing in here but fallen caches. They took my loot? It's like there's no rules. After that, you have the ability to scan this jack of spades on the ground, and then your ghost and Cade will have a back and forth again. A jack of spades? Yeah, I had a whole system to keep track of things. The royal card stood for weapons. Spades meant hockey, clubs for Crux Lomar, diamonds for Amalon, and hearts. <laughs> well, hearts were for this girl I knew. What was her name? Uh, don't you have a stealth drive to find? We may never know who the love interest of Cade Six is. So next up, we have the Seven of Coins. So one of the fun, quirky things about Bungie is their infatuation with the number seven. The number seven pops up in all sorts of Easter eggs, including this one. Dotted all around the tower, there are coins, just random coins laying around. You can find them in all different places of the tower, and some of them are actually really well hidden. They don't do anything, but it's kind of fun to hunt them all down and find them. And here's the weird part, there's only seven of them. I'll put a link in the description to a video that shows off where all of them are better. Go check that out if you're interested. All right, so the next one's a little bit more complicated. I'm calling it the Solar System cipher. Right, so have you guys ever wondered what those tiny little numbers are doing on the edges of the solar system map? Well, these numbers are actually tiny little codes, and more specifically, hex code. So hex code is kind of hard to understand, but basically if you just convert the numbers into ASCII symbols using this chart here, the numbers on the left actually get decrypted into all right, okay, which is a clear reference to a graphic designer's webpage that helped create the solar system map. It's allrightok.com. He has some pretty cool images that he created in the development of Destiny. Go check it out, it's pretty interesting. Next up are the numbers on the bottom. These numbers decrypt into B Dave. Yeah, pretty exciting stuff. So this was later confirmed by Dave himself on Twitter saying Reddit finds my egg. So I thought this was really cool. You've been staring at these numbers for about two and a half years now, and now you know what they mean. All right, so next up, it's gonna be Master Chief. So this Easter egg also takes place in the Cade Stash story mission, but this time complete the mission normally, and after you defeat the Shadow of Oryx, walk up to this pod right here. You'll be prompted to deploy your ghost, and this is what he says. Pod number 10201. A guardian with exceptional light sealed himself inside. He's been in there for centuries. Before I found you, I tried to resurrect him, but he preferred to sleep. He said the last war was enough for a thousand lifetimes. So this is a clear reference to Master Chief in the end of Halo 3. I think it's funny that the ghost tried to revive him before trying to revive you. Wake me when you need me. All right, so last on the list is lots of loot. So how many of you guys remember the days of the Loot Cave? Probably not a ton of you. A lot of people started playing during the Taken King and never got to experience the joy of a Loot Cave. But if you do remember a Loot Cave, then this one is probably the one you remember. Shooting tons of enemies as they spawn in the cave and collecting their loot. Well, after this was patched, and at the beginning of year two, they added a pile of bodies and a way to disturb them. Watch this. Not enough for Master Raul. 
so I couldn't find any information anywhere about who this Master Raul is. It'd be great if you guys left a comment down below if you have any information on this, because I would love to hear about it. Alright, so those are my five Easter eggs that you may have missed. If you guys know about any other Easter eggs that should have been on this list, I would love to hear about them. Put them down in the comments below. I read all my comments. And also, if you like the video, make sure to give it a like and consider subscribing. Like I said, it helps out my channel a lot. Anyway, this has been Widgen TV. Thanks for watching, guys.